Tonight, Michael Avenatti and film actress Stormy Daniels going head to head in court. As I learned a long time ago, to thy own self be true. Prosecutors accusing Avenatti of stealing nearly $300,000 in book advances from Daniels, representing himself, cross-examining his former client. Do you still think she's an American hero? The attorney trying to undermine Daniels, getting her to admit that in the past she has said she could speak to the dead and that she has conversations with a haunted doll named Susan who has her own Instagram account. The two had famously teamed up in 2018 to take on then-president Donald Trump. They immediately made headlines. Ultimately, the American people and others that are far more educated and powerful than us will decide whether the president is fit to remain in office. Daniels hiring Avenatti to get her out of a non-disclosure agreement, preventing her from talking about an affair she says she had with Trump, an affair Trump denies. Do you think you've got the president of the United States running scared? He's not smart enough to run scared. What is he? Uh, an egotistical lunatic at this point. It's about the deception. It's about the lies and deceit that have been told relating to this agreement and what Mr. Trump knew and when he knew it and what they've done to cover it up. It was after Daniels wrote her autobiography, Full Disclosure, that the relationship soured. When questioned by prosecutors today, Daniels telling the jury he, quote, stole from me and lied to me. She told jurors that not only did Avenatti take her third and final payment, but he then spent it. Avenatti says he's innocent. The attorney pouncing on cross, asking if she had any email, text, or recording stating that he wouldn't take any money from the book deal. Daniels replied, no. An unconventional case that may have another twist when Avenatti begins his defense. Have you decided if you'll take the stand in your own defense and who will question you or if you will question yourself? Okay. I have not decided that. It's a decision I'll make probably over the weekend culminating in Monday after consultation with a lot of people that I trust and respect. Federal prosecutors are expected to rest their case as soon as Friday. If Avenatti is convicted, Tom, he could face up to 20 years in prison. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.